everybody, welcome to Timeless Fluid Art. I'm Janice. Today I'm going to uh, do a waterfall acrylic fluid art pour. Let me move this over here while I put it in the cup. And the thing is, you have to, the reason why it's called waterfall is that you're pouring it on an angle so it falls down. In other words, I'm going to make a mess. All right. First things first, let me make sure I got my right recipe here. I have a look by recipe up. I did ages ago. Okay. First one is the Brilliant Blue, which is actually the um, Sapphire Metallic. And it's going to be really runny, so that's going to be like a good thing. Because everything else going down is going to be dark. I mean, uh, thick, not dark. Let me get these out right away so I can. It's very hard to get open these up when you have. Um... Here we go. Get over there. Come on. All right. I'm going to wipe my cup on the side. I already got it messed up here, but it doesn't matter on my plate. <laughs> That's going to definitely get destroyed. All right. Then on top of this is going to do um, white, and this is just going to go right on top. And I'm doing it on canvas. Uh, not sure the size. I have to measure it. And then on top of this is going to be black. Supposed to be paints gray, but I don't have any paints gray, so white and blue, I mean white and black, I make mean gray. All right, just a little bit of that. And now the rest are poured on the side of the cup. So the light shade of green, I think maybe I might, I might use this one instead. This looks more green. All right, and this goes on the side of the cup. Okay. Really runny, just gonna really make a mess. I love it. And then I'll throw this one on the back of it. On top of it. Okay. And then after the green and the, the goes white again, but this time I have to pour it down the side a little bit. And I think the being is because the white is a lot thicker than the actual paint that I'm using. I don't even know this is gonna work because I like to experiment. Okay, now I've gotta do, I'm gonna have to do this color blue rather than the aqua. I'll be combining. This is the regular mixture. It's still too thick, so that's kind of good. No, I think I'll do this one first. No, that's kind of thick too. This one I'll do here. Wow. Well, I need to have a thick a thin one to go here, so let me see. I'm, I'm gonna throw this blue in anyway. Okay. That's really too thick, but we'll see what happens when I pour it in here. All right, then black goes on top of this. Then from there we have purple. I'm gonna do the dark first, which is really soupy. And then the lighter, lighter purple, which is thicker. And I figure with the metallic 
falling, falling behind, or what, you know, that may loosen up. Then again, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna put a little more of this loose one, okay. I certainly go through these. And not that I really care because this, I just don't, I don't want my containers to be, um, all right, then the yellow. I don't have bright yellow, but I'm thinking this gold yellow came out so perfect. And I don't know what it's gonna look like with the, behind the purple, but purple and yellow go get together beautifully. And now, this is gonna be my interpretation of the black. I love this color, the sapphire. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm gonna also, throw a little black on top. Get bubbles. Can't reach the bubbles. Okie dokie. This should be enough paint, I'm thinking. So let me move all this out of my way. I'm thinking my container's gonna be grabbing a bunch of it. All right, let that set a bit. Now I have to do um, the background. The base coat is white. I'd really like to be able to pour this into something, so let me see. I think I'm gonna use this one here. I hate to have to mess up everything. And that really is too big. So I'll use the lid. All right. Perfect. All right. And you see me perfectly. Now I'm gonna do the white. I have automatically uh, cleaned the back, taped it off. While I do the white, I'm going to do it like this here. Okay. I didn't thin this at all. But I'm figuring I should do. Let me get a stick here. Uh, you know, I hate using a stick for this. It's really stupid. I'm gonna do my hand. <laughs> All right, let me get this side here, and this side, and this side, and this side. Oh, this will be covered anyway. Whoops, I keep dropping it off my page right here. All right. Go around here. Okay, then over here. That's why you do the back, huh? Alrighty. And then this, I'm gonna, whoops, I can't do it like that. I'll do it like this. And let me pour some more down here. And some more in the center here a little bit. This is not thinned out either, so I'm hoping everything turns out good. All right. All right, now we're ready to pour the cup. And that's a jiggle pour. Mm. Where's my white? Okay, totally lost the white. I 
I mean, I think it's going to pop up as soon as I stretch this around a bit. Whoa. Okay. Now this is the fun part. Go this way first. And you can leave, make a little space over there. And go this way. Whoa. I uh, see another white showing up with the blue. Beautiful. It's turning out exactly like I planned. Imagine that. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to lay this down like this and do some work on the sides. So hold on a second. Let me just take my gloves off. I love this blue so much that I'm going to pour a lot of it here. That's what I want. Let me get that white paint out of here. Okay. I have plenty of my sapphire paint, so don't mind doing it like this. I just don't want any white corners. I'll have to go around and check. This is going to be a big amount here. sides. Metallic is really coming through, guys. I love it. I'm going to get little dots here, too. It'll even itself out and one piece over here. Alrighty. Well, it really is beautiful. I love the colors. Gorgeous. Now what's going on over here? I like that. And these little dots here I don't like. I'm going to get some more of this down here. Let me get these little dots over here. Don't want them showing up. Alright. Trying to see if I got everything covered. I think I do. There's a little more over here, though, I think. Let's just pour it on. Let it run. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And over here. That is so pretty. I love this one. Let me show you. Close up. Okay, here you go. Let me get my paint off my done here. It's gorgeous. Love the little fingerlings they're called. Um, I learned this on Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. She's been doing this forever. Now let me just check on the side, see if the side's all done. Oh yeah, pretty good. Little cells on the sides, that's okay. The side's pretty covered too. And this side's getting little bubbles. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> I'm getting the reflection in my, uh, from my, oh, it's so funny. On here I get my um, blinds. <laughs> the reflection. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. 
Well, I hope you learned something as far as doing a waterfall acrylic. It, um, it's different because I've never done it like this where I'm using regular paint and the metallics in between. But I love the metallic look. And this is going to be looking really cool when, you know what I think I need to do? Let me get a little fire on here. I'll probably get some cells though. Mm, I don't really want cells, but I'm getting a few down here. Oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'll leave it. I'm afraid I'll screw it up. Now i got to bring it over there to dry. So, um, Thank you so much for watching. Uh, new subscribers and old. Thank you so very much. And uh, I'll post this later when it dries a little bit more. Oh, let me show you the ones I did yesterday, which is up there. This right here. This is 90% dry. Here, I can hold it. See the glow, see the shine? I didn't put any, any, I just put just Sonia paint, uh, uh, varnish in with the paint. This is my Rough Seas. I really love it. This one was the one I, that for some reason I scraped off when I did the swipe. I swiped too much and ended up getting some of the white cells. This one I absolutely love. And I'm going to take that little white dot and do something with it. I don't like it. And this one's upside down. It's going to stay upside down. I can't turn it because it's wet on the back. Uh, that was a nightmare. So anyway, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, this is where I'm going to have it dry right here. I cleaned up all this yesterday. And I even got a bit rid of all the paint I had mixed up. Because after a while, they, I mean, it has since June 20th, okay? So they last a long time. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll check you out later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, I decided to show you over here. I have it drying. I want you to see with the um, metallics. It's gorgeous. Let me turn this light out. Wow, look at that purple. Gorgeous. And I don't know why I'm getting the white cells. I didn't ask for it, but you know. Look at that. Simply marvelous. Wow. Look at that. You can see the stripes right down there. It's so cool. Nice. It's gorgeous. I love the blue colors. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. That's it. Bye.